end of the property. Thank you. Okay, can you hear me? You can hear me? Welcome. Thank you for being here, Michael. Uh, Michael Andache, as everybody knows, is a winner of the Booker for the English Patient. And he has won numerous other prizes for his other works. Six novels, a volume of uh, autobiography, several volumes of poetry, a wonderful book on editing, which is a non-fiction collaboration between him and Walter Murch. In fact, it is safe to say that he has won every prize, other than perhaps the Man of the Match Award in the World Cup <laughs> final when Sri Lanka lifted the World Cup. <laughs> so congratulations. Um, I, I, I wanted Michael to read a little bit and hopefully in the middle of our conversation I'll press him to do so. The immediate occasion for our conversation is uh, a new book, a novel that Michael has just published. It's a beautiful book, it's called The Cat's Table. And um, one of the immediate results of reading this book is that I've uh, been tempted to cancel my uh, flight and take a ship back to the place where I've come from. So that's the temptation that you might consider too. Three boys, three boys are on a ship from Colombo to uh, England, to Tilbury in England. And they are seated at the cat's table, which is the table, which is the name for the table that is furthest from the captain's table. And from that vantage point, marginal, unimportant, that these adve adventures unfold. So, Michael, I understand that you too, of course, as a child, as a boy, uh, undertook this journey. But what was the immediate occasion? What was the spark for this, for the writing this book right now? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, when I was 11 years old, rather like the boy in, in the novel, I went to Sri Salon or Sri Lanka to England and uh, I had no parents watching over me, so I felt tremendously independent for the first time in my life. And I was telling my children a few years ago about this and they were horrified that a small boy would be put on a ship for 21 days and sent off to nowhere, essentially. And just from their reaction, I thought, my God, this is a really great story. Uh, especially as I really didn't remember that journey very much at all. It, it was like being given a gift of, a, of an episode in a life that could become a novel. And so uh, I turned what was essentially autobiography or uh, unremembered autobiography into fiction. And uh, so apart from the fact that the boy gets on a, a ship at the age of 11 and goes to England, um, I had to invent every character. I had to invent Cassius and Ramadan, who are his two friends. I, and, and all the characters in the novel were invented. So that was really the source of the, the book. For those of you who have uh, read other books by Michael, uh, 